Ever since we released the 24 point update video, people have been wondering what were we were hinting at with that tablet in the corner. Most people suspected it was Bows 2. Other people suspected it was Bows 2. Some people thought it was Balloons Monkey City 2 Capitalist Regime. But we are here to say, you are all wrong. That tablet was actually showing our brand new game, Balloons Tower Defense 7. Now what is the difference between Balloons Tower Defense 6 and Balloons Tower Defense 7? Since most of our audience has realized this game is way too intense for a small child to play with, we have decided to make the entire game in 4D just to prove that this game is for true chads out there. When we were making BT6, we were drunk while making one hero. So this time we were high while making literally the entire game. People really did like the soundtrack for the game, including the 8 other songs that could be purchased from the trophy store. But they suck, so we decided to throw all of them away and replace them with songs made only by monkeys. As monkeys have true musical talent, rivaled only by the creators of music itself. We were going to let monkeys create the game, but we knew it was a horrible idea, as monkeys are masters of coding and would take our jobs instantly. Speaking of the trophy store, we're adding many new items into it. Instead of just adding a few avatars, some mob skins, and co-op emotes that you totally use, we're adding monkey skins. Now we know many people are thinking we're adding these skins, but they suck. Who wants medieval dart monkeys in 2021? When you use the new monkey skin, it will change every monkey's appearance to look like Curious George. Instead of having these monkeys, you can genetically modify all monkeys to reach peak monkey performance. In the trophy store, we're also adding pop sounds. Now when you pop a balloon, you can make it sound like this. Much more appealing to the ears. And using this in the extreme late game will make your game sound much better than anything made by Beethoven. The challenge editor was a great tool so players wouldn't have to donate their son's asthma treatment for streamers to play their challenge on stream. But since everyone knows that video games aren't meant to be fun, you can now make a challenge that isn't even beatable and publish it. Then someone will try to beat it, try for 8 hours, getting so close to realize it can't be beaten. But inevitably, someone beats your challenge. Post the solution on Reddit, then your challenge has a higher pass rate than your actual school. And if you think it's a bad idea, it's not actually. It's a social experiment to see how people react to something that isn't possible that was said to be possible. In other words, it's a giant middle finger to all of humanity. In BT6, the towers were balance to an extent, but we didn't like that, so now every monkey's damage value will be decided with a random number generator from negative 124 to the amount of times Todd Howard has lied. All of this just works. It's not, I'm not kidding. The generators will power things through switches that require power. We also didn't like how selling worked, as we made it look like monkeys were actually slaves. So now, if you try to sell any monkey, an auction will be held and the highest bidder gets the monkey. And yes, every hero will have new voice lines for when they get bought. It was obviously inevitable. Now, each monkey that is sold will go work in the factories, because if you sold it, you hated more than vegan dog owners, so don't feel bad for it, okay? Now onto the new game modes. In BT6, we had solo and co-op, so one mode. But now in BT7, we will have many new game modes for you to play. We will still keep the classic solo and co-op modes, but now we're adding a BTD shooter mode. The only reason we made this mode was for the kids who were playing COD Zombies and their mom walked in and didn't like the, um, Buddhist Zombies for a lack of a better term. And if you were wondering, no, it wasn't actually based off this game. That was only a figment in your imagination, just like the fact that batteries contain corn. That tablet was actually showing the battles mode. It's just regular battles, but modded. That's right, since we saw too many mod videos for battles, we thought it was just a regular part of the game. So playing regular battles is now more rare than playing battles with a dark phoenix. Thanos and a potato cannon. If you thought we added enough to the game, you're wrong! We are adding a survival mode where you level up your character with quests and create weapons to fight balloons. We are literally combining Minecraft with Skyrim. That is how good we are. We don't just make monkeys throw dart at balloon flash games anymore. We are literally creating Skyrim 2 for Bethesda. Now onto the price for the game. You might think it should cost $60 as we are selling the Elder Scrolls 6 Call of Craft, but you are wrong actually. The game is only 7 bananas, but don't worry, we're accepting all types of bananas for payment. You can use these bananas, these bananas, even this banana, and they will all work for payment. You have to ship the bananas to this address, and on top of the box, write, put these on the pizza. Once you have terrified the Domino's employees and the entirety of Italy, they will give you a copy of BT7 out of pure fear for your war crime. And out of all the reasons to buy this game, the graphics are the most important. 
In BT7, you can still go back to the old graphics of BT6 by using the medium graphics setting. And using low graphics will give you the graphics of BTD1, but you're on the school computer. The high graphics will be RTX on, 8K HD. They're so good you would want to wear their shirt in public. Though people will resent you more than that time you said orange juice after brushing your teeth is the best. No it's not, it's after farting class and nobody noticing. <laughs> One of the most iconic parts of the game were the balloons, and in BT6, we added the bad, the new hardest balloon to the game. But now, in B3-7, we're adding what everybody wanted, the Chris Balloon, now found round 200 and above. We know more people wanted this balloon than the rejected episode of Barney and Friends Start a Communist Revolution. We're also adding new monkeys to the game, just like we did with BT6, but this time we're adding better monkeys. For context, if you buy a tower or an upgrade now, you have to pay a tax. So you either pay the tax or commit tax evasion. So now there's a monkey that will evade your taxes for you, because we had to make this game more realistic. There will be a bartender monkey whose only point is to get monkeys drunk and hopes the FDA doesn't notice the drugs in the beer. There will be an influencer monkey whose main goal is to get SICK FOOTAGE OF A WAR GOING ON! Now those were some good features. Finally, this game will be more addicting than water. We have transcended the tower defense genre. This is now a fever dream. Remember, we sniffed drugs that haven't been invented yet. We saw the future all on it, and yes, they're still single. We're telling you, this game is going to be more addicting than canceling people on Twitter. Now what was the real reason we made this game? Like BT6 was already good, but why did we go further? This game will be one of the greatest games ever created, but why did we make it? What was the reason behind it? The real reason why we made this game was so we could terrorize those damn Domino's employees with bananas on pizza.